News controversy has continued to trail the termination of the lease agreement on a four star hotel and conference center granted to by Courtney Aviation Services, operators of the Murtala Mohammed Airport 2 by the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. While the owners of the MMA2 believe that Fan's action shows disregard for the rule of law, the airport authority says by Courtney Aviation Services cannot continue to change the rules in the middle of the game. Our aviation correspondent, Bukola Joe Ketsumbi, reports. About six years ago, this was the pomp that greeted the formal opening of the Muritala Mohammed Airport 2 in Lagos. The first airport in Africa to be built under a public private partnership received accolades. Now the beautiful tune is changing as operators of the Muritala Mohammed Airport 2 are now currently locking on with the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria over three major issues. The most recent, the termination of a lease by the airport authority of a four-star hotel and conference center granted by Courtney Aviation Services. With an array of legal documents, by Courtney Aviation Services believes the action is a slap in the face of justice. We believe that FAN believes that it's above the law and is not obliged to honor agreements and court judgments. We think this is unfair. This fan totally disagrees with. By the terms of the agreement, these are things that were supposed to be done within 18 months. We are getting to eight years. It was terminated since last year or the year before last with a valid notice of termination. Another issue is that of the ownership of the General Aviation Terminal in Lagos and the tenure of operations of the private terminal by its present owners. There was a court ruling in March 2009, I think at page 36, which stated very clearly that GET belongs to Bicotney. Judgment of March 3, 2009 of the Federal High Court states clearly that the tenure is 36 years. When the then Minister of Aviation proposed and gave the issues, or the, the, the proposal to amend the agreement from 12 years to 36 years. I'm happy to tell you that we have it on paper. The then President of the Federal Republic, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, wrote with his hand in capital letters, no. While both parties remain on different sides of the page, industry analysts believe both parties should sit the sword and embrace good old dialogue as a way out of the woods. Okola Joe Oketsumbi, Channels Television News.